And the only reason I left was the money. Mm. Yeah, because then I I was getting into the divorce period. Mm. Mm. And so bills were piling. Mm. And at some point, um, I got hospitalized oh. because of the debts that I was that I I got. Oh, like it became f- too much. Yeah, yeah. So there was um, at a personal level when we split up, mm-hmm. um, we had agreed who was going to carry which roles and and who was to do what. Mm-hmm. So he didn't meet his end of the bargain, mm-hmm. and I didn't know that mm-hmm. he wasn't meeting. So one. It was this one week where the call came from the from the landlord. A call came from the school. A call came from some property that was being auctioned. So I think all that just um, drained me. Mm. But I didn't know because, you know, strong people don't show. Mm. The cracks don't show. That's why I usually tell people, be, be careful about this, the ones who appear strong. Because by the time they're showing, they're actually going down. Uh, because you're taught to be a fixer, like me, I'm a fixer. So given the situation, I'm gonna fix it. So I fix it without telling someone that I need help. Mm. Yeah. So I got admitted um, with this very sharp pain on the side that could not be traced to whatever. And then the pressure when it was up, and um, I, and a fever that they couldn't trust, and they had all this manner of of tests done on me. I think I had so much radiation at that time because it was X-ray, CT scan, MRI, I don't know what not. And they couldn't trust anything. Um, so I told them to discharge me because it was at one hospital. I got discharged after five days and then I collapsed on the weekend and I got to, into the second hospital, a different one, because I felt the first one was not according to me, was not treating me because where am I there and I, I'm taking drugs by oral? Because ideally, if you can take drugs by mouth, you should be at home. So, and the pain wasn't going. So I remember now in this second hospital, my house girl, my current, I've been with her for 10, almost 11 years. Eh? She came and she told me, you know, you are lying here in hospital when you know and you're going to die and leave your children alone. Can you snap out of it? <laughs> She's also a tough one. So that's how I just decided, okay, I need to do, what's my problem? My problem is I'm in debt. Why am I in debt? Because uh, of these decisions the other party has done. And why can't I fix it? Because I don't have the resources because I'm earning this amount. And I tried to negotiate at that time with the uh, association. It was now a new leadership. And told them, pay me by commission. So give me this retainer, then give me commission. Because I was bringing in money from partnerships. And if you give me a commission, because the money is, some partners are paying me in 15 million shillings a year. That was good money. Um, I'm able to spread out the other needs. Yeah, that the retainer would not pay. But they took too long to make that decision. So when I got hospitalized, I knew I was I was coming out to resign and look for a job, another job that could, because I knew I could, I could work in a job that could pay my bills and could sort out because I'd been doing paying the bills anyway before. Um, so that's what I did. The moment I had that mental shift, the pain went, like. Someone turned off the tap and the fever went. In fact, I can't, I had to keep on poking my side. To, to find it. Yeah, because it was, it was bad. I used to cry at night, you know, you feel like crawling on the floor. So that is how I got out of hospital and came to resign without a job. Yeah, I've resigned without jobs several times. <laughs> Risk taker number one. Risk yeah, taker one one. Lessons yeah, from Dr. Wala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. Sometimes you need to make those decisions. Because I knew I would. I'm someone who really gives um, in terms of uh, leniency. Like I know I need to get out of this situation, but I give you the second chance, the third chance. But the moment I shut the door, I've shut. So that's what happened. I came, I resigned. And then now I was without a job. I had to give notice three months. So it's those three months that now I started looking for networks. 
um, where to send the CV, whom to call. So anyone I was meeting and say, do you have a job? Even you admit it, I'll tell you, Maxi, I can do anything. I need to just pay my bills right now. Luckily, now I got a job the same month, one month later, with no AMREF. Mm-hmm.